Are you resilient? What? Re Resilia what? Yeah. Resiliency. Right there. Sound it out. Say it. Come on. Say it again. Okay. That wasn't bad. What is it? You gotta have it in middle school and high school. And you actually need it more when you're not in school. Then uh, you'll need it for the rest of your life. Speaking of life, life is difficult, right? Struggling, suffering, it's all part of life. Resiliency is what helps you get through those struggles and suffering. You can never have too much resiliency. So how do you get it? Is it something like a muscle that you can build? You can tone it. You can get more of it. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. So here are seven resiliencies. It says all teams, but this is what all people need. Number one, you need insight. What the heck is insight? It means being able to ask tough questions about yourself and the situation you're in. Asking, is this really what I should be doing? And then giving yourself honest answers. When you can be honest with yourself, you can move ahead. Insight helps you see things as they really are, not as you wish they were. Number two. Independence. Independence is the ability to be your own person, not that, that other people are trying to make you into. Independence can mean stepping back from the pressures you feel from people and situations. It's not easy to do those things, but independence will get you there. Independence helps keep you focused on what you want out of life. Number three, relationships. Not what you think it is. Relationships are connections with people who matter. These are good friends. These are family. These are people who've been there. Relationships provide a sense of belonging. These can be teachers. These can be principals. People you will see at the church, in the community. Relationships provide opportunities to express yourself. Truly express yourself. And provide you with support when you need it most. If you don't have them, you can find them. Number four. Initiative. Uh-huh. Uh, nish, uh, tip. Say it. Say it. Initiative means facing life's challenges head on. You hear people say, oh, that person's got a lot of initiative. That's what they mean. When you take initiative, you're part of a cycle of solving problems. You overcome your fears and you're being a winner. Winning, like actual winning, not Charlie Sheen winning. Initiative puts you, big bold words, in charge. Number five. Creativity. Creativity means using your imagination as a safe haven. It's a place that you can bring yourself to be yourself. And you can move the details around as you please. Creativity, if you're artistic, if you are athletic, these are ways that you express your creativity. It can help you channel overwhelming feelings and make them manageable. It allows you to be you and lets your creative brain take over. Number six, humor. Ha ha. Humor allows you to find what's funny, even when you are sad or in pain. They say laughter is the best medicine. That's what they're talking about. Humor is a wonderful way to release tension and relieve pain or embarrassment. Find something funny. Make something funny. Be funny. Number seven. Morality. This is the last one. Morality is, is doing the right thing, even if it's not easy or it's not what everything is, you know, what you believe you should do, but you know it's the right thing to do. Morality helps connect you to other people through being useful and by being caring. When you do the thing that's the right thing to do, you make connections that you never thought were possible but otherwise. And morality helps you feel like you're a good person. If you want to feel good, you got to be good. So, here we go. What you are going to have to do right now is get out your journal and tell about your thoughts on those resiliencies that all people need to have. Journal about that. Tell us about which ones that you think you have, which ones that you think you need, which ones do you think could be stronger? And this is a big one. Which ones do you think you can help others with? 
that's also part of that's that morality part of resiliency, right? Now, if you're still unclear about resiliency, you saw the bunny yesterday, maybe. Let's look at that bunny again. This bunny is insightful. This bunny is definitely independent. Bunny relationships, it's probably protecting its home. This bunny takes initiative, uses creativity to go after what is bothering it. It's funny to watch, so there's your humor, and the bunny's doing the right thing. That's your morality. Here you go. And I think he's gonna meet them for me. Gum, I didn't get that. Oh, he went back for more. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He's trying to run him off. <laughs> Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Is she gonna bite him? That's what she's doing. Look at that, honey. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's going up in the tree. He tried to get away from her. He must be biting him. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Trump dog!